YouTube, this is your girl Samantha Sweets and welcome back to my channel, my channel. Hey, sweetie squad, what is up my lovies? A happy Saturday. Okay guys, so the time is here. You guys wanted me to do it. I am going to be giving you my reaction to the new Jeffree Star eyeshadow collection, his new collection, Cremated. So um, definitely just get yourself a snack, get something to eat. I definitely want to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. But before we do all of that, if you guys are new to the YouTube channel, what's up? I'm your girl, Samantha Sweets. Please make sure you hit the subscription button below. Give it a click right here. Ring a ding, 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 ding that bell. Turn your post notifications on. Why? Because I do giveaways on this channel. And right now I do have a giveaway going on. It is a Mother's Day giveaway. The rules are very simple. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel. Make sure you like on that video and make sure you comment down below of that video a mom mommy flower heart some type of an emoji and make sure if you have instagram you follow your girl at samantha sweets 100 as well as i also have tiktok and you can follow me there at samantha sweets 100 okay guys let's get into this reaction video okay so if you're wondering what's on my eyes before we get into this i am wearing the lovebird palette i absolutely love it however i was not thinking it quite clearly because glitter does not need to be in your crease okay not your crease but in your pop of your eyeball okay so that's a no-no and then also I put glitter um eyeshadow underneath in the waterline so big no-no so I'm in trouble <laughs> but so far I haven't really had any problems it is just you know you can see the flex of the glitter in your eye low in your eye you know what eyeball circle so you're like uh what's going on here okay let's get into it so I'm gonna be honest, you guys know, I only give you guys my honest opinions, my honest reviews. I'm not Willy Wonka, I don't sugarcoat shit. So, yesterday, a lot of my subscribers, and you guys know who you are, were DMing me. You guys were DMing me at some of the sweets 100 on Instagram. You guys were like, girl, did you see the palette? Girl, did you see this? Girl, 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 girl. And I was like, yes, girl, and I'm not happy. And everybody was like, me neither, I don't like it either. I, and everyone, and the other one was like, why not? So. You never judge a book by its cover. That's something we need to learn growing up. Don't judge a book by its cover. So when I assumed that Jeffrey was going to put out something in April, because it was supposed to come out in April, I was expecting, we were all expecting a green palette or we were expecting maybe a pride palette. We weren't really sure, but I saw a Snapchat of him with a lot of colors. Now I did hear in April that he was going to collab with Marilyn Manson. So then we automatically started thinking a goth palette. You know what I mean? Smoky. So I kind of had a sense it was coming, but I just didn't think it would come. I thought it would come maybe Halloween, not in the spring and summer. Boy, makeup artists right now really have their seasons confused. We're getting reds and nudes and browns for spring and summer. And for fall and winter, we get hot pinks and blues and yellows and stuff like that. It, it's crazy. But anyways, it's whatever. You know Jeffrey has no, he has no, um, no filter for what he does. He has no reason for what he does. He's just Jeffrey. So my opinion. First, we're going to talk about the case. And I'm going to be popping the pictures up here. The case. The outside of it. Am I sad it's not coffin-y? Yes, I am a little sad. I am saddened by that. I love that. It's such a beautiful, um, you know, display piece when he puts out his coffins and stuff. So I was like, dang, really? So you did cremated, okay, and you didn't put it in a coffin? You didn't put it in a, you know what I mean? Like blue blood, coffin, blood sugar, coffin, uh, blood lust, even a coffin. And then we have cremated and it's like jawbreaker. I'm so confused. But it's whatever, it's Jeffrey. Okay, then, so I'm disappointed by that. However, okay, I was like, I'm not getting this palette. I'm not, like why waste the money? I'm not gonna get it. Then I thought about, well, I do own like almost every other one of Jeffrey, so it is definitely something I enjoy do is collect Jeffrey, Jeffrey Star stuff. Plus I love doing reviews for you guys. As a YouTuber, you kinda gotta get it. Whether you like it or not, you kinda, you kinda gotta get it because you wanna stay up on your times and stay up with everybody and stuff like that, so. There you go. But when I saw the outside picture of Jeffrey, I immediately saw what he was talking about of how it started out as he is whole and then he disintegrates. I love that. That is so created. It's so spooky. You know what I mean? I love that. It's bomb. It's like he disappeared into smoke. I love it. So cremated. Hello. Hi. 
<laughs> so I, I do I do like the cover. I do. Beautiful picture of Jeffrey. Look at him. Gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Okay. Then when he opens it, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Now, if there's one color I do not use on the planet, it is a gray. Okay. Who the frick uses a gray? And then to find out that Jeffrey has like, what do you say? Like 12 different shades of gray or whatever. It's so funny because he was, he, he did a meme or whatever of a pun of he's like, is there different shades of gray? <laughs> For 50 shades of gray, you go Jeffrey with your best. So I caught that. Did everybody else catch that? But anyways, so I was like, oh, gray. So you guys know I have the ColourPop palette and that is the Smoke Show palette. And I actually don't like that palette. And then now I, I do like the palette. So you always got to give something a second chance. Maybe not right away is it going to be something that pops off. But in the end, either you're going to like it or you're going to hate it. Okay. So we're going to just go over these colors. Go over again. These again, this is my reaction. And in the comments below, I want to know, are you excited? Are you getting it? Are you not getting it? Are you passing it? Whatever. Okay. So when he said, okay, because I love, I don't think I have my, no, it's in the room. Yeah. My bloodlust is in the room. The purple palette, the bloodlust palette, the icy shades, there was only two and the bloodlust. And I was so saddened by that because I wanted more because those colors I use on my eyebrow bone, on my inner corner as a highlight on the lid. I love those colors. When I found out he has six icy shades in this palette, I was sold. I was done. I was deceased. I, that was it, honey. I was, mm -mm. I was like six different icy shades of Jeffrey. Are you kidding me? What is life? So I am super duper pumped about that. And the icy shades are gorgeous. I'm just going to be popping in little pics right over here of the shades of him swatching them. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not trying to make this video very lengthy or anything like that because I honestly want to hear what you guys feel about the palette. So then we're going on to the nudes, like the muted, the muted grays, the muted browns, whatever, whatever. <sighs> he said you can do a gothic, gothic glam look, okay? A smoky glam look, okay? Or a soft look. I actually am like a soft look with blacks and grays? But then when I thought about it, because of the swatches, he has a lot of muted grays. A lot of those grays, grays are just barely there. So you could give yourself a very soft look with the palette, however you, you know, see fit. So then I saw the black and I was like, hi, how are you? So I use the same black from the ColourPop um, gold, what is gold, whatever the heck that palette is. Um, palette. I love that black. It is my ride or die, die hard black. So I use that all the time. He's saying this is a perfect black. Like he got this formula down to a T. If my YouTube manager knows me very well, she knows I am always looking for a good black. So I am excited to see how good and how black this, this bad boy is. I could look, I could definitely use a new black. I mean, this is not going to always last forever. Okay. The next thing is the lip glosses. So I'm probably not getting them. If I got any of them, okay, it would be, and I don't think I have the name. I might have the name. Let me see. Uh, I don't have the name, but it's the first one he swatched and it's right here. It's the icy white one. That one to me is very intriguing. He says it's like snow. Winter has come, honey. So it's something I am, he's like, you know, I'm definitely intrigued by that. I love a good icy lip, especially around winter time. So if I got a lip gloss, it would be that one. I am not getting all of them like I did for the Bloodless Collection. This is definitely a very, um, um, unique collab. Uh, collection, I should say. Very, very, very unique. Um, what is it called when you um, have a certain, only you have a certain taste? You have to have a certain taste for something. I cannot think for the brain of me right now. Um, acquired, there you go. This, it definitely acquires a certain taste. You have to have an acquired taste to do this. So I don't really feel like everybody's gonna understand the palette. Everybody might not even want the palette. 
but I definitely think I do want the palette. I do, especially with the six ices. I was like, honey, especially because one of the ices is black. Oh my God. Like I can only imagine like black all over the, oof, pretty. That'd be really pretty for like a dinner night or something, date night, something like that. So the lip glosses, definitely not something I'm gonna gravitate to unless I get the icy one. Okay. So I did the swatches, the swatches, obviously his, um, we got photo shoot or whatever for the, for, you know, to be able to do the thing. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous colors, gorgeous. I love that little pink limo, pink hearse. I mean, love it. Awesome. Now on to the extras, which is his bag. You get a makeup bag, which is white. I'm not a white person. I don't like white like that. So it's not something I definitely will get. Sorry, just not into that. Um, and then also the straws. I have the green straws, still haven't even opened them. So I need to definitely put those in the drawer um, that I had gotten with the mystery boxes. And speaking of mystery boxes, Jeffrey, are you coming out with a summer box? Are you coming out with a summer box? Your words were exactly, it's yet to come. Wait to see what's coming. So let's go, boo. Okay, I want a summer box. I'm ready for a mystery box. We need something to cheer us up, to liven us up. And Jeffrey, honey, if you put the blue blood or the blood, well, the mini jawbreaker or the blue blood, I think we're gonna freaking lose our top. <laughs> so please don't do that if you're gonna do a summer box. If you do a summer one, I highly recommend him putting in the full size jawbreaker because I know a lot of people don't have that palette. So that's what I recommend or the androgyny. Okay, now as far as the black mirror goes, I mean, how many mirrors could you really need unless you're a collector? I definitely don't need that. And then he also has that black marble and I love marble. Marble is definitely something I really like. Like I wanna have my girl do my nails on Monday. It's time to get my nails done. And I really wanna play with black. Like I really wanna play with black. So I want like maybe like black and pink, black and orange, black, like black. I don't know why. What's up with me? Black and silver. Oh, <gasps> marble, black and silver with glitter. Oh, honey, I will be looking. My nails are going to be called cremated deceased, honey. Yes, boo. So definitely um, I'm loving the marble touch, the marble feel. But that black tote thing, the tote bag or whatever, I forget how much she said that one was because I know the other one was 25. I don't know how much this one is, probably 50. I don't know. It's very pretty. I would definitely grab something like that if I really needed it. I don't need another bag, but I think it's a very beautiful bag. Anybody would love to add that, especially if you collect Jeffree stuff. So I think I went over about everything. Like I said, I wasn't trying to make this video too long. There's a lot of nudes in this palette, a lot. And I really don't play with nudes clearly as you see. I am a blue, I am a pink, I am a black, I am an orange, I am a green, I am a popping color, a purple, I am a popping color girl. I really don't do nude looks unless I am like not in the mood to play with makeup and I'm like screw makeup, blah, 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 blah. So in fact, actually this color, this, this eyeshadow, it's really not coming off bright on the camera. I don't understand why but it is actually really beautiful. I'm gonna add this onto Instagram so you guys can see. I just turned my ring light over to see if you guys can see it a little bit deepened, but um, I did work hard on this eye look, so I really hope you guys do enjoy it. Um, if you guys wanna see a tutorial on this, let me know in the comments below. However, I have done a lovebird um, look before on my, on my YouTube channel. If you just wanna go back and look at it, it was similar to this, if you guys wanna see. But back to Jeffrey. <laughs> um, again, it, how many grays could you possibly use? I am interested. Now, price. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I could be mistaken. Wasn't the Bloodlust like 35? Wasn't it? Wasn't Bloodlust 35? And it was the same price as the Morphe X palette? I'm pretty sure. Unless I'm wrong, comment down below and um help me out, because I could be wrong. And also, I have another thing for you guys to help me out with. Um, but yeah, I don't agree with this being $58. It's not even in his coffin. So, but, but it's based on how many eyeshadows I guess are in the palette. And he did say that this is a 25, 26 eyeshadow palette. I don't remember. I, I don't, I think I can count them. Hold on. <sighs> I forgot what he said. Oh God. Okay. Yeah, 
so 25 so i definitely um i guess i agree with i i get i mean i don't know i just i felt like when the bloodlust was 34 i was like or 35 whatever i was like yes like whoop, whoop, this is 58 dollars. this is almost 60 bucks this is a half of a phone bill okay <laughs> so of course i'm not too happy with the price but i mean there's always gonna be something everybody's not gonna always like everything and then lastly i know with the covid and everything that he did say that it was gonna you know malls are closed and stuff and everything so it's gonna be strictly to the jeffree star website i have a question did i miss it i might have missed it because i damn sure was trying to clean up did he say it was going to be on his small sites the um beauty bay and um i cannot think of the other one <laughs> beauty bay and the other one did he say that it was gonna be on there because normally he always has them on there but i'll tell you this right now if i get this definitely have to use afterpay because i don't have six dollars to just throw away right 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 now i just don't especially my birthday is coming up june 18th so we're trying to go away from my for my birthday we're trying to go to a uh well it's the same place we go to, but we're trying to camp there. And that's at Vortex Springs. And we're going tomorrow. I'm so excited. Because you guys know I had a rough week. So I love that water. I love everything. Like just getting in that water, it, I, I just escape. I escape the reality. And I love it there. So we're going to go tomorrow. And I'm super duper, super duper excited. So, um, but yeah, that's where we're supposed to be spending my birthday. And we have to camp out and stuff and everything. So I'm trying to save my money. But I do want to get this palette. I am very intrigued by the color combination, the color story. And I do want to see what kind of looks I can put together for you guys. So this was my reactions of this video. I probably will see thumbs down, but I'm sorry for you. <laughs> but if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And please make sure you are subscribed. I couldn't believe it. I was unsubscribed from Jeffree Star. YouTube, you got life beeped up. Like, seriously, do not unsubscribe me from Jeffrey. Are you insane? Are you brain dead? Are you crazy girl or boy? Whatever YouTube is. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go and um, I will talk to you guys on the next video. As always, stay beautiful. Stay blessed. I'm your girl, Samantha Sweets. I love y'all. Bye.